so this is a really interesting area of research. I would say most of the evidence so far can point to a link between changes in the microbiome and autism spectrum disorder. And there's emerging data on other neurological disorders, including Parkinson's disease, um, anxiety disorder, and others. But I think um, so far the literature in that area is limited and uh, we need more studies to really validate a defined microbiota change. Very little is known so far. As you may know, uh, deciphering the difference between cause and effect is very difficult. And so what we need um, to start is large clinical studies that identify a defined signature of the microbiome to a particular disorder. And then we need to study or transfer this microbiome into animal models to really show causality to see if we can see causality at all. And so, so far, I would say with none of the disorders have we really proven um, causality. We've seen very fundamental and promising um, reports just showing that changes in the microbiome in animal models can contribute or alter dis uh, behaviors that may be involved in these actual disorders. Our main finding is uh, um, in a mouse model for autism. So this is a model that was based on an environmental risk factor for autism, is maternal immune activation. We found that manipulating the microbiome postnatally in mice can correct some of the behavioral features that are relevant to autism, and also some of the immune and gastrointestinal problems that are related to autism and that are also seen in the mice. In this study, we used a microbiota treatment that was a probiotic treatment. And so it was very promising in suggesting that postnatal probiotic treatment can correct some features that are relevant to autism. But um, with that said, still much more work needs to be done. We studied this in one mouse model. Um, we have some interesting um, findings in other mouse models that are preliminary but we still need to study whether this can translate to the clinic at all <laughs> uh, in, in safety testing and efficacy testing in human clinical cohorts. The take home message is that there's so much more research to be done and so much more research in this area that's warranted that hopefully when we define particular molecular mechanisms that link microbiome to disease or to different um, fundamental biological pathways, and then we can um, continue to study them and, and define um, good therapeutics to develop or um, explore in the future. Thank <laughs> you.